Hey guys, it's RJ with The Variant, and we are here today with Smash Cosplay. How are you today? Great. Doing good? Okay. Thanks so, for having me. No problem, definitely. Smash is our March Cosplay Spotlight. So Smash, why don't you tell us your cosplay secret origin? Oh, my secret origin is Smash Cosplay. Um, so I've been sewing since I was eight and I popped into Animazement 2004 and I saw all the costumes and I just knew I had to make my own. <laughs> very cool, very cool. So um, if money wasn't an option, what would be your dream cosplay? Ooh, that's such a good question. Probably um, Shayna from Legend of Dragoon. It's in like a 1996 RPG. Uh, she's got these huge wings and there would be a lot of Warba and <laughs> kind of mechanics involved in that. So what's your favorite medium to work in when making your cosplays? Um, I've actually been making a lot of bodysuits. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of uh, comic book characters. So mostly sewing. I've been dabbling a little bit into armor making recently. So Gotcha. gotcha. So what's your favorite cosplay that you currently do? Um, I think my favorite is still um, Sailor V because it's just so much fun. Gotcha. I have such a good time and yeah, everyone, you know, it's so popular too. Everyone gets so excited. Okay. What, what are your three favorite fandoms? Probably, hmm, oh, that's tough. Probably Final Fantasy, okay. definitely. Oh, Harry Potter. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, Maybe Zelda. Zelda? I love Zelda. Zelda. Zelda? Yeah. Well, what's your favorite one? Uh, probably Ocarina of Time. Ocarina it's so of good. I, get, I hear that a lot, actually. <laughs> it's just so good. I did. I really like Skyward Sword. That one's fun. Uh, yeah, I just started playing the new one that's on the uh, 3DS. Oh, I don't even yes. know what it's called. My daughter handed it to me and was like, new Zelda game. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Four hours later, I didn't know what was going on. Um, but... Uh, who, if anybody, do you look up to in the cosplay community? And not just like famous people, if there's somebody local or, or whatever. Yeah, there's um, oh, there's so many good people to choose from. I follow, um, her name's uh, Bindo Gek. She does a lot of really fun costumes, like for Colossal, she did uh, the Squirtle version, and it was just so unique and right. I think, what did she do recently? She did Vivi recently from Final Fantasy IX. And it was just so, like, she just takes the costume and makes it her own. I really like that. Gotcha. She puts her own spin on it. Yeah. Pretty cool, pretty cool. What would you say is your best con experience? Ooh. Probably... Oh, that's so tough. Hmm. Maybe my first Dragon Con. Yeah. That was awesome. It was definitely the largest convention I'd ever been to. There's people everywhere and you just see all these like really amazing like elaborate costumes. And it's fun. Gotcha. gotcha. <laughs> There's a lot of a lot of my friends go, so we're always bouncing around between groups and it's four days in a row. It's really fun. <laughs> yeah, I haven't been to yet, but I'm hopefully You should definitely very go. soon. <laughs> I've gone twice. This will be my third year. Cool, cool. What, uh, well then on the flip side of that, what would be your worst con experience mm -hmm. or maybe costume malfunction or something like that? Um, probably just the ones that don't end up happening at all. Oh, uh, just like not going? <laughs> not going. Well, yeah. Sometimes, if like I was supposed to go to KatsuCon this year and just didn't work out. Right. That was a bummer. But. Most of my con experiences have been really great. Like, I haven't really had any bad ones. Okay. We always go to Animazement, and all my local friends go. Right. That one is always fun. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> one of my, it's my favorite con, pretty much. Home con. Definitely, definitely. Um, so you do some judging for cosplay contests. Um, what would be the first thing you look for in a costume? Uh, usually... Um, that's tough. It depends on the person. If they have a lot of details, I like to ask how they did all the details and um, whether they made the costume like fully themselves. And 
because a lot of times you'd be surprised there'd be the simplest costume like a schoolgirl uniform but we had at NC Comic Con we had this girl she was only 12 years old she sewed every little bit of her uh, one of I the remember school. that yeah. yeah she was amazing and it's just she took the time and she like some things worked and some things didn't work and then she tried new things right. and I don't know people effort goes a long way I think sometimes it's not always what looks the best, it's what's really thought out and constructed really well. Okay. So why Smash do you cosplay? <laughs> why do I cosplay? Why do you cosplay? I love to wear characters that I really look up to. Like my first costume was Sailor Venus, and it was my first anime that I ever watched. It's just fun to be the character that you admired and games that you admire. It's really, it's just fun. And then you go to conventions and then you end up meeting people who also like that right. and just, it's so much fun. It's great meeting people. Okay. Well, that is all the time we have today, guys. Um, I want to thank Smash for coming out. Yeah. And you can catch Smash on Facebook on... Smash Cosplay. <laughs> and um, Smash will be our March cosplay spotlight. So take it easy, guys.